This is part 22 of WCF video series. In this video, we'll discuss configuring WCF service endpoint dynamically in code. This is continuation to part 21, so please watch part 21 before proceeding. We can configure an endpoint for the WCF service in two ways. We can do that either declaratively using the configuration file or dynamically in code. First, let's look at configuring the endpoint declaratively using the configuration file. So here is a snippet from the configuration file. We'll be working with the same example that we worked with in the previous session of this video series. So here we have you know, the hello service that we have been working with. And here is the configuration file for that service. So basically, first we have a service behavior here where we are enabling service metadata exchange. So we are enabling service metadata exchange because we want the clients to be able to generate proxy classes automatically using this service metadata. And then if you notice the service itself here, we are exposing one endpoint. So the service is available at this address using this binding. And the service has implemented this contract I hello service. So basically here we have specified the configuration declaratively within the config file. So let's go ahead and run this service. So the service host is running. Let's go ahead and run the client and see if the service is working as expected. So let's pass a message. So we should get back hello Prajim if everything is working fine. So there we go. All right. So we have seen you know how to specify an endpoint declaratively within the config file. All right. Now let's look at configuring the service endpoint dynamically in code. You know there are two steps to do this. First we need to delete you know the configuration from the config file itself because we are going to do that dynamically in code. So first let's go ahead and get rid of you know the sections that we don't need within the config file. Okay? So the first thing is get rid of this behavior because we are going to specify that within code. Okay? So let's flip to the service itself. So I'm going to get rid of this behavior and then since we have gotten uh, rid of the behavior, you know, we don't need this behavior configuration attribute as well. So let's go ahead and delete that. And then we are going to specify the endpoint also programmatically within code. So let's get rid of this endpoint. But we are going to leave the base address there. Okay? All right. Now let's go to the program.cs file. And, and you know both the configuration file and this program.cs file they are present within this hello service host which is a console application so within program.cs file you know at the moment here we are building the service host and then we are opening the uh, you know the host basically which opens up the channels for communication with clients okay but before that we need to add the endpoint and the service behavior to enable metadata exchange and in order to do that that's going to be our second step so we're going to create an instance of service metadata behavior class and we are going to set this property http get enabled to true and then we are going to pass that object you know to this add method which is going to add that behavior to the behaviors collection property okay so let's go ahead and create an instance of service metadata behavior so within our hello service let's create an instance of service metadata behavior and this class is present in a different namespace so let's go ahead and bring that namespace in system.servicemodel.description and let's call this service metadata behavior and then let's set http get enabled property so http get enabled equals true that's a boolean property so we're going to set that to true and then we need to pass this to the add method so this host object has got description property and then which has got behaviors collection property and to this we are going to pass service metadata behavior object that we have just constructed and then we also need to add the service endpoint so host dot add service endpoint and obviously when we add a service endpoint you know 
we need to specify basically the contract that the service has implemented you know the binding that we want to use and the address of the service so let's go ahead and do that so within the service and we are going to make use of you know this constructor of the um, add service endpoint method basically this overloaded version I mean so let's go ahead and specify the implemented contract the implemented contract is hello service dot I hello service that's the contract and then the next parameter is the binding so we want to use net TCP binding and this binding is present in a different namespace um, we need to you know type in the casing correct correct as well I mean the uppercase or lowercase letters otherwise Visual Studio will not be able to suggest the namespace that this binding is present in so we need a capital letter N there and then when you press control dot it will show you the namespace that class is present in so it's present in system dot service model namespace so let's go ahead and bring that in so we want to use TCP binding and the third parameter is where is the service available the service is going to be available at hello service address so here again we are specifying just the relative address so you know basically this the fully qualified address of this service is going to be you know net.tcp colon forward slash four slash localhost colon 8090 forward slash hello service okay so that's all there to it now let's go ahead and close the client which is running let's go ahead and run our service host but before we do that we need to close the service host instance that's already running so let's run the service host so host started now let's go ahead and run the client and let's pass Prajim as the name get message look at that it's working as expected so very simple we can either add a service endpoint declaratively within the configuration file or dynamically within um, code that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day